what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so we're talking about several different topics in this video here again today we'll be talking about scream 6 terrifier 2 jeepers creepers 4 and nope so jumping right into the topic starting off with scream 6 scream 6 must be wrapped by this point only because melissa barrera has expressed excitement about finally being able to go home on her instagram story jasmine did something on her instagram story recently too where she um had a clip up on her story she was ripping off mindy's name before showing a picture of her her yellow jackets character i think uh and uh, she was ripping that off from a set here and now a rap photo has surfaced online now this rap photo that you see here on your screen i was a little bit skeptical about it at first but i guess it's real because it was taken by an individual named felipe who is a steel photographer based out in montreal montreal um so congratulations to everyone involved with this project there is actually a post i came across on twitter saying that that's a wrap on scream six and they were thanking the blackmore production for allowing them to be home to the film that they all have now completed shooting this movie from what i was told wrapped last thursday it might have wrapped friday actually but i was told it wrapped last thursday so i can't wait to see this movie i know a lot of you are excited about the movie some of you i know are not excited only because of one small in my in my opinion one minor setback but uh we'll see what they have to deliver for us in march with ghostface running a muck in new york so again congratulations to, to everyone can't wait to see the movie and i guess the hopes of a subway chasing have only been amplified from the set photo and i've actually thought about how cool it might be to have a final act play out there not the actual f entire final act but you know the moments where these killers always think that it's necessary and smart to tell the survivors their goals before the survivors actually kill them so we'll see what happens in march and hopefully we get an exciting announcement this week regarding production coming to a close so terrifier 2 had its world premiere at fright fest with some amazing reviews coming out of it praising it for being a well-done slasher film one of the reactions that i was able to come across was retweeted or quoted by bloody disgusting earlier i think this is coming from joel harley he said terrifier 2's kills repeatedly up the ante delivering some of the most horrific gore sequences ever seen in a horror film so i can't wait to see this movie for that reason alone to see what that is in context on screen when i get to see it so again it's had its world premiere fight fright fest a couple days ago and it came out with some amazing reviews uh and i guess a few days ago what happened damien leone actually shared this image on his instagram to confirm that chris jericho will have a role in the film and i can only imagine that chris's role will be very small and judging from the blood on his face he'll have a death sequence in the movie of course something probably very brutal and i wonder if this does mean now this is just a very like uh funny nugget that i that i'm hoping we get i wonder if this means we'll hear judas somewhere in the movie so and for those AEW fans out there of mine listening to this you know what i mean when i'm talking about if we'll get to hear judas or not so we'll see if that's a part of the terrifier 2 soundtrack because i know a lot of you who watch AEW, you know how the crowd gets when that when that man comes out with his entrance one of the best things in wrestling today when chris jericho comes out so we also got this killer new official poster from creepy duck art who always nails it with the art so again congratulations to you this is a new official poster for terrifier 2 again the movie is coming out later this october uh there is no release date for the screen box release but we know it's coming on october 6th to some theater locations tickets aren't on sale yet but again you can subscribe to a website i'll leave a link to it in the description to be notified of when tickets go up on sale for this movie if you're someone who's looking forward to seeing art the clown and david howard thornton get wild and sinister in this role once again the movie is coming up very soon so jumping into jeepers creepers 4 uh, jeepers creepers reborn there's these two new steals of the creeper for us to pick at and have fun with so this one here is from the front now this is i would imagine him when they get to like that that escape room ordeal in the movie where it goes wrong because they go to the creepers layer uh, i'm personally still not a fan of this look and i know i've done videos where i said it didn't look too bad in the past and that's because honestly in those images it didn't look too bad this one is one of those images where i think it it looks disgusting although it still is very important to remember that the final product is where the true judgment of this look will matter uh now here's another look from the side and i've already seen a lot of jokes about this being like uh the dead carcass or 
the zombified carcass of the killer from i know she did last summer because you see the hook in his hand but if you feel that this is a sign of of people not footing putting their best foot forward in in the redesign of the creeper then i understand and i can't change your mind there and i did see all the jokes about Wishmaster again and i think i even saw someone say his mouth <laughs> looks like one of the sanderson sisters from hocus pocus so we'll see how jaru benjamin actually is in the role because that's i would say the most important hopefully it's sh hopefully they do something on screen where the look doesn't take away from the overall experience of what jaru actually tries to do in the character because again he might be very menacing and the look might just take you out of it so i hope that's not the case i hope this look actually does indeed look better on screen uh so we'll see what happens when jeepers creepers 4 comes out because you know we have that upcoming fathom event for three nights on september 19th the 20th and the 21st i believe now the last thing we need to talk about is nope or nope 2 now it's not confirmed but we know that this movie has been another success for jordan peele and it hasn't yet met the box office goal that i think it should have in order to be a box office success but it has of course achieved 150 million dollars worldwide now he's talked about the the chances of a sequel recently with the new york post and some other outlets have picked up on it or the new york times i believe he, he sat down and talked about this with going over this fan theory that i guess has spawned of this image here of this character in a deleted scene a character who was credited on imdb or credited in the movie as a character named nobody so he said this about this character the story of that character has yet to be told i can tell you that so here's the thing what what would happen with this character because this person looks like they are leaving the set of the gordy the chimp incident when everything went awry inside so were they responsible for that would we get like an actual prequel movie where we see what happened between gordy and jupe i would honestly rather see jordan peele do something like this where he has an established universe of like t tampering with mythos and urban legends that people think are real and t flipping them on their head like he's done here with aliens and you know take on the Loch Ness monster maybe even do something with Bigfoot but he ended it by saying we're not over telling all of these stories I think he's actually talking about establishing a universe with this movie being connected to it, not necessarily a direct sequel but we'll see what he means uh if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss video in the description I'll have links on my social media accounts on Facebook Twitter and Instagram you can message me there of course to let me know any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video